Hi everyone, my name is RJ Kazanowski and I'm the SHI Technical Specialist of the Surface Team. I'm here today to show you the Surface Hub 2S. It's basically Microsoft's ultimate collaboration device designed for teamwork and collaborating and connecting. It has wall mount options as well as the steel case roam cart so you can move the device around. Also an optional battery pack so you can take it on the go if you want from room to room. And now let's get into some of the main features of the Hub. Now the Hub is designed around three main use cases. Calling, collaborating with whiteboard, and connecting. I'm going to go through each one of those for you guys. First, we'll start with the call. That's sort of the main idea behind the Hub. It's designed that basically this one device can turn any space into a team's room. An access boardroom, closet, hallway, whatever space you have, it is now a team's room with this device. So you can make calls from here. It's integrated directly into the OS and you could have multiple people collaborate on it as well. So the second feature is Whiteboard, which is a collaborative feature that allows you to basically have a giant screen where you can hash out ideas, come up with concepts, and use the Surface Hub 2S Pen for that. And Whiteboard, you use the Surface Hub 2S Pen, and you can basically draw, hash out ideas. And it's an infinite canvas. So you can never run out of space on this thing. And if you're in a Teams call, you can have a collaborative canvas where multiple people can actually input on the same canvas. And one thing that's my personal favorite feature, if you're, let's say you're making a list, like a to-do list, and you want to put a little circle around the one, and draw a bad circle, it'll auto-correct it. And it'll do it with pretty much any shape. Perfect, a little overlap, but no one's perfect. <laughs> Now the third feature I'm gonna show you guys, connect. Now let's say you're in a use case where you have a lot of people in the same conference, you wanna share content. Uh, the hub is designed for sharing through either wireless or USB-C. You can connect your personal Windows device to the hub, and the hub basically becomes an extension of your Windows device. So right now, connect into my laptop. And here we go. So now in this mode, the hub is basically acting as a secondary monitor to my laptop. But one really cool feature about that, so let's say I want to share something like a Word file. You know, I want to share with a, with a conference group, my newsletter I'm writing up. I can move it right into the hub. But it's not just a secondary monitor. I can still use the hub's pen and touch capabilities to manipulate the content on my laptop. I can zoom in. Use the pen and you see the hovering cursor. So if people are gonna be sharing around a conference room, simple as long as you're on the same network or the USB connection, you connect as an extension to your own laptop. Now the hub also has the full Microsoft Office 365 suite already pre-installed. So you got PowerPoint. And you can also have two apps open at the same time. So let's say I want PowerPoint and Word. I got both at the same time. You can copy paste content in between. You can also change how much you get. So let's say I want only a tiny bit of the word. I can literally dedicate how much screen I get to each size. If I want to take all the space away from PowerPoint, I can do that as well. And I can't forget Excel. We got Excel too. Now the hub is designed so that you can't really save content to it for security purposes. Like let's say I open up a data sheet file in Excel that has some valuable data on it and I have to go for lunch, I forget, I look down the hub, oh no, what do I do? No worries. The hub is designed to basically end the session. It does so automatically, which you can change in settings or you can just tap end settings, do a little countdown timer, a yes. And the hub basically clears out all the data that was on it. So if you want to save data, you need to either connect to your cloud account or use a thumb drive on one of the multiple USB-C ports along the device. And right now the hub's getting ready for a brand new session. And pretty much once it's ready, it's like a clean install. Good to go for the next user. Now the hub was designed in some ways to be modular. So when new accessories get released, it's a simple matter of just updating a new accessory and upgrading. Like for example, the 4K camera on top right there, Let's say a new camera comes out like this brand new 4K smart camera. It's a very simple matter, just popping off the old camera and popping on the new one. 
And that is the Surface Hub 2S.